I'm supposed to be working. And my main job on this platform is MPLG. And for those of you that know, y'all know. <laughs> so uh, my plans are today is uh, to show you how to build a, uh, an antenna. You can work satellites on the 2 meter 440 band using only uh, garbage you find. Like uh, this old wore out broom right here. <laughs> wore out broom. A few brazen rods, and you know what? We can use this ring gun. Be right back. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in. My name is Brad. I am Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima, and welcome to an offshore edition of Redneck Ham Radio. Hey guys, all right, as promised, I am holding in my hand an antenna that uh, is supposed to be able to work the satellites with. Uh, this thing is called a, uh, a Moxon. Uh, it seems to be very popular amongst people that uh, that uh, make make contacts and work the repeaters on the uh, on the satellites. Uh, mainly because it only has a uh, one feed point. You don't have to have a, a, a duplexer for it. So uh, you may see you may be new to the hobby uh, and say, "What do you mean work the satellite?" Well, there's a multitude of uh, satellites in orbit, and uh, a lot of these satellites carry amateur radio repeaters. And uh, and there, if you have a technician class license, you can work these repeaters. Uh, and even though I, me as an extra, I have never worked these repeaters, but I plan on trying. So I know that you were expecting to see the the build process and all on this antenna, but the truth be told. <laughs> This is the first one of these I've ever built myself, so I wasn't going to take you through all the pains that I went through putting this thing together and learning how to put this thing together. But I tell you what I will do, I will take this thing and we'll set it on this table over here and we'll dissect it and, uh, and, and tell you uh, what I found in the process of building it and uh, showing you just how simple it would be for uh, you to build one yourself. Okay, so uh, I'm going to set this camera up on the table and uh, set this antenna down there and uh, I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, I'm back. I know I'm not set up on the table, but setting up on the table is limited workspace was turning out to be more of a challenge than I had anticipated. So well, let's see if I can uh, kind of explain this thing to you from, uh, from this angle. Uh, if you'll look real close here, you'll see single feed point. This thing is really no more than a folded dipole. Let me remove these because this is nothing. I mean, that's nothing but an air gap there. So anyway, this uh, this connector here, that's because of my screw up. I made a mistake and I cut my radials too short and I had to add to them. If you look right here, that's where I had folded this over because that's all you have to do. And I think I visually said that this was a, a, a brazing rod, but it's not, it's a it's TIG wire, TIG welding wire. So, so if you cut this thing the right length, then uh, you can just fold it, uh, bend it right there. This thing is a, uh, is a folded dipole. It has a folded dipole with a reflector on it. Uh, showing you earlier these this thing has an air gap here and it creates a capacitor so you've got your dipole and your uh, uh, and your reflector are uh, uh, coupled capacitively uh, to give it some forward uh, some forward gain and some rejection coming from the bottom okay what you see here this is a these is it's like a four element uh, 70 centimeter yagi and uh, so when you when you talk to the uh, uh, to the satellites, the satellites use a uh, a, a 70 centimeter downlink most most of them 70 centimeter downlink and a uh, two meter uplink. So you're listening on 440. I'm not real sure what the frequency is right off the top of my head, but uh, what you're listening on 70 centimeters and you're talking to the satellite on two meters. So, and it's my understanding, and please, I know there's a lot more people out here that are a lot smarter than I am, but uh, it is my understanding that this gap between 
this element on the 440 Yagi and the driven element is capacitively coupled and it allows this thing to proceed on 440. And I know when I checked it on the analyzer, it actually looked good on 440 as well. I had like a 1.2 SWR and at 146 megahertz on two meters, it had a, a 1.2 SWR there, or 1.5 SWR there. So uh, I'm sure this thing would transmit on 440 as well. Uh, so is there anything else I need to say about this? Oh yeah, where'd I get my design from? Okay, so uh, anyhow, let's put this down. And uh, I got my design. Uh, actually, I mean, you can look for it all over the place. You can look on, uh, uh, there's mocks and calculators. You can look for antennas to, to work satellites or, you know, anything like that. But I got mine from Pinterest. So and this is the design that I use. I'll leave that up there for just a second for in case you want to pause it or whatever. Uh, anyhow, this is the one that I used. And and those measurements were almost perfect. I did have to uh, trim a little bit off the ends of the uh, of the dipole to uh, to get it resonant on the, on two meters, but uh, other than that, spot on. Spot on. You know, you may be thinking to yourself, man. How am I going to hook up this great big old antenna to this ditty bitty radio? Well, what you do is you get you one of these dudes right here. Now, my radio is is a Bofang. It's a, it's based on the UV5R, but this one is a uh, BFF 9V2 Plus uh, tri-power, but anyway, that's beside the point. But uh, anyway, get you one of these dudes right here. So this is an SM8 female to an SO239 so that then your PL259 re-antenna screw right on it so you just take this thing you screw it right in the antenna there look hey that works good don't screw that dude on there now you have got your antenna and a radio track these satellites and it's my understanding of it. I have yet to make a, uh, a satellite contact and unfortunately I'm not going to get to make one in this video either. There's just several different uh, determining factors there. The weather hasn't cooperated. It is so noisy on this platform and then the, uh, uh, the, the satellite uh, uh, tracks haven't been just right for for a period of time when I can do it. You know most time I'm having to work or other things going on. So. Uh, Anyway, so but it's my understanding that uh, as you're tracking these satellites, oh yeah, information. So you can go if you're interested in fooling with these satellites, you can go to uh, amsat.org. So that is a m s a t dot o r g, uh, and they have got a ton of really good information, a list of all the different uh, satellites that uh, uh, that that have amateur uh, repeaters on them. Uh, if you want to see tons of different apps for, for iPhone and Android alike. I like to use one called uh, Heavens Above. Uh, there's another one called AMSAT. Uh, I use the uh, uh, ISS detector, I think is the name of it, to, uh, to track ISS. Oh, by the way, there are, there are uh, ham radio operators on the Interma International Space Station. So it, periodically they will uh, they will transmit and uh, you can make contact with them as well. Uh, uh, they, uh, they they really have a lot to do with, with edu education and helping kids uh, 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 give them, get them interested in science and technology and uh, uh, and I tell you uh, you know uh, people may think the radio is a thing of the past but I promise you uh, it is not uh, when these cell phones go down this is still talk so uh, so if we uh, get one of those uh, situations that we hear people in preppers and and, uh, and such talk about an STH or however you say it, uh, this stuff's going to still work, people, and we're going to need communication. I recommend that if you're not licensed, get licensed. Uh, beside the fact that it's just extremely fun hobby, there's so many things to do. But getting back to the point that I was trying to make, it is my understanding that as you're starting to track these satellites, that the satellite is, is, is tumbling in orbit. So you'll have to take this thing and you'll have to switch it between a, a, 
uh, horizontal and vertical as you're tracking it and uh, it will track in a certain elevation through the sky you know and you track it that way also there's this thing called Doppler effect and they say this way you're supposed to uh, to tune your radio so uh, on your uh, on your uh, uh, your uplink frequency uh, your two meter frequency it will stay the same so you don't have to worry about it but you may say well what's, what's, what's Doppler effect well how many of you have been out on a highway or running out of your, you hear a you hear a big truck come by and as he comes by you hear him at one tone as he comes past you it seems like he goes he changes frequency the sound changes kind of like you you buy a train track and hear the train coming you, bah, 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 bah. so but that is the Doppler effect and it is the same thing with those satellites up in orbit so as you're listening receiving those satellites so what you do is whatever their their downlink frequency is so you would you would start like 10 kcs uh, below that and you program a couple different channels uh, each in, in about 5 kc increments you know so that you can uh, you can start on the bottom and then work your way up as this thing changes from one point to another as the satellite is making its pass and uh, well, I don't know if I've said this already. Oh, yeah, I did. Unfortunately, I'm not going to make a contact. But uh, be looking for a part two to this video. So uh, I definitely plan on working some of these satellites. And if the weather, uh, 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 if, if it'll cooperate the next uh, next few days, I still have about another week left out here. I may make one here. If I don't, then I'll do it when I get home. Anyway, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, I am Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima. Uh, if you like this content, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you want notifications. If you don't, don't, because if you like me, I don't like getting all those notifications. But, but anyway, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I am Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima, and I am QRT.